Hello, I'm Nikias Lohr, Head of R&D here at Resalt. And today I would like to take you in our production so that you can see what it takes to build a high quality timing system and what measures we take to make sure that the quality is as you expected. We'll do this by looking at four steps. First, we'll have a look at the quality insurance and checking of batteries. Second, we will have a look at how we make sure that the reader output power is where it should be. Third, we will look at how we measure performance on every single antenna that we ship. And fourth, we will have a look at the burn-in test that we do on every single system before we ship it to our customers. Let's go have a look and see what it takes. So here we are at our battery checking station. Actually, we are using high quality Panasonic batteries in our decoders, but still some of the batteries, brand new, don't have the expected capacity. So every single battery that goes into a decoder needs to be tested. What we do here is that we fully charge discharge, charge, discharge a second time and charge it again and measure what capacity we are getting. We have we found that it needs at least two charge and discharge cycles to really see if the battery is good or not. You can imagine this takes more than a day to test a single battery. That's why we had to parallelize it and we always do eight batteries at a time to keep up with our decoder production. This is the only way we can make sure that whenever you get a brand new decoder from us, you get the expected battery life out of it. So here we are at our reader test bench. Every single reader before we put it in our decoder box is tested for its RF output power with a power meter. Um, this is used done by connecting a RF power measurement head to one of the output ports of the reader. And this way we can make sure we don't put readers into a decoder box uh, where the output power is not good in the first place. Again, obviously we are using a high quality reader here, but we found that once in a while the reader power does not match the specified value. So we have to make sure that the reader is okay and we even tune readers up to the level that we want. But it doesn't stop there. To ensure that the reader power is in spec after we put the decoder together, we developed this little device, which we call Port Tester. And it gives you a quick indication for four ports at a time. You can connect it to our decoder and it shows you via green or red LED if the output power is okay or not. Also, our distributors have port testers like that, so we can retest decoders out in the field to make sure that the output power is in spec. This is done for every single decoder before it is going to the next step of testing the decoder long term. So here we are at our antenna test bench. This antenna test bench was built to make sure that every single antenna that we ship performs as we expect. For this, every single antenna after it's put together on this bench is measured using 10 overhead antennas and our own testing device, which is using a spectrum analyzer and a RF power generator to sweep through the frequencies and make sure that for the specified frequency, the antenna beam and the transmitted power is within spec. This is needed because we meet, need to make sure that for our custom antenna, all variations of production and parts is taken care of and that we know that every antenna that we ship performs the way we want. So here we are at the final step of our journey through our production. This is the six hour burn in test we do with every decoder. You see that every decoder has a checklist where all the different checks that have been made 
are recorded and we make sure that everything has been checked. Uh, we also record the output power of the reader and the battery capacity. And at the end, um, the person who has built the decoder has to sign this test and this goes into our record so that we can make sure if something goes wrong out of the field, we know what was uh, has been done to the decoder. Um, every single decoder goes through the six hour burn-in test. This is running on battery with an antenna connected and a chip in range recording. And this way we can make sure that any early failure of any component in the decoder is captured by us here and not by you out using it for the first time. So, I hope that you liked what we do to ensure the quality of our equipment. We constantly improve the processes, so this was only a small part of what we do. We constantly add new tests and it is always our goal to make sure that everything that we ship keeps up to the quality standards that you expect from race result because on race day at the end it's all about detection rates and we want to make sure that you get every single passing at every event. Thanks for watching. See you next time.